Hi everyone! Jody Santa Maria here at ready-ready na ako makipagkwentuhan sa inyo. day na nagbabrowse ako ng Twitter, meron follower na nag-tweet sa akin. Then, she asked me, how do I keep myself healthy daw and glowing despite my busy schedule? Oo nga, no? Ano nga bang ginagawa ko? Ibang-iba yung perspective ko about me time. In my head, kailangan magpa-block off ka ng schedule mo from work, umalis ka, mag-travel ka into a far, far away land. Kasi you see, dun sa line of work namin, we usually tape three to four times a week kung may telesere ka, and then kung may movie ka, yung mga free days mo, kukunin niya. Sa isang araw, we work, what, 18 to 20 hours per day? Yun yung klase nung, nung life na, na meron kami bilang mga actors. Mom din ako, student din ako. So, minsan, grabe yung workload pagdating sa school, yung kailangan kong i-attend yung needs ni 30. Ah, oh, wala na akong time for myself. And then, you know what? One day, parang it just occurred to me, yung me time pala, hindi siya kailangan na you go on a trip somewhere, pero it can actually be done in the comforts of your own home na pwede mo siyang gawin every day. Yung mga simple na you just stop and pause a while. Example, kumain ng favorite food ko. That's me time. Or spending time by myself, just watching an online series, listening to my favorite music online. Minsan, syempre, may singat ka rin dyan na mga pakunting pa-massage or spa. And ako, naniniwala ako na kahit kayo, kayang-kaya niyo yung gawin. Let me give you some tips. Una, listen to your body. Dapat alam niyo kung ano yung kaya at hindi niyo kayang itolerate. And part ng, um, ng self-care is, of course, knowing what you should and should not put inside your body. Ma fruits ako, ma veggies ako, chicken and fish. Of course, wag niyong i-restrain yourself ninyo from doing physical activities. Pwede kayong mag-walking or kung gusto niyo, pwede kayong mag-gym. Merong mga online apps na pwede kayong tulungan sa inyong um, daily routine na workout. And isa pa sa nagpapa-happy sa akin is pag umiinom ako ng tsaa. I love this. Particularly chamomile tea. Kasi parang pag iniinom ko siya, sobrang nare-relax ako. And then, super the best. You will never go wrong with drinking lots and lots of H2O. Did you know na merong online app na magre-remind sa'yo to drink your water? Pwede niyong i-search yan sa App Store and then you can download and you will be reminded to take your water. H2O is very important, so keep yourself hydrated. My next tip is listen to feel-good music. Phone ko. Personally, nandun yung mga gospel music. It really helps me. I am reminded that I'm loved, approved, and accepted. So that kind of sets the tone doon sa day ko. Kayo pwedeng-pwede nyo rin gawin yan. Listen to any music that will make you feel good. There are apps na matutulungan kayo with your breathing exercises. Yoga. There are apps na makakatulong sa inyo na mag-meditate. At night naman, I use the Abide app. Even if nakatulugan ko na siya, nagpe-play pa rin siya. Because I know na even if we're asleep, we can still hear. So, alamin, pumapasok pa rin siya sa ating subconscious and the unconscious mind. And I think it's also important na while we do all these feel-good things, no, that we have a reliable home internet connection because we don't want naman while we're listening or watching to these videos, nagbabuffer. Next tip is to practice boundaries. Sometimes, too much is not good for us. As much as possible, stay away from toxicity and negativity because I know that is not healthy for my mental health. I practice as much as possible to say no. It is okay to say no. So workplace, if you feel like na 
sobra-sobra na, mag-ask kayo sa boss na yun ng leave, go online, and then search for, you know, a, a nice place na gusto mong puntahan where you can rest and relax. At alam nyo ba, guys, na doing your own booking is therapeutic. And this is the most important tip that I can give you, is to live a life of gratitude. Always remind yourself how blessed you are. Each and every single day is a gift. Our inner disposition will somehow determine our outlook, how we see things around us. I love streaming TED Talks and I learn a lot. Yes, about being grateful. There's, you know, medical also, there's psychological and, you know, setting a certain mindset and, you know, building the life that I want. I also check out inspirational videos. It's also important na maganda yung internet connection. Kailangan talaga sobrang reliable. Sobrang grateful ako sa lahat ng mga lessons na natutunan ko sa life. And isa na nga dito yung pag-aalaga sa sarili habang inaalagaan ko yung mga taong nagmamahal sa akin. The greatest gift na mabibigay natin sa mga tao sa paligid natin is our healthy well-being. It is never too late to start taking care of yourself. Sana nakatulong sa inyong lahat yung self-care tips na personally ginagawa ko. I hope na magawa nyo rin siya. So, we have another question. Okay. Hello, Jody. Gusto ko pong mag-start ng small business. Pwede niyo po ba ako mabigyan ng tip? Hmm, interesting. Great things start from small beginnings. Alam mo, meron akong perfect person na i-recommend para magbigay ng tip sa'yo on, on business. Alam niya, nag-start siya sa isang small business. Tapos ngayon, grabe, she handles several businesses na. So, wait ka lang dyan. Tatawagan natin siya. My name is Neri Miranda. Kumusta naman po ang buhay-buhay natin ngayon? 